What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for a super quick video in relation to my last video regarding about Wingspan's relation to jump shots. Now I'll be talking about its relation to layups and dunks. We all know that Wingspan can affect the stat caps when you're creating your player, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about the actual effects, like maybe your layups will have less challenge, or maybe your dunk green window will be bigger the longer your arms are. Those types of stuff. And by the way, we're like a couple of months away from 2k24, so I'm trying to cover remaining topics as much as possible. So try to leave a topic recommendation down below so I know what else you guys want. So now let's get right into it. So now for the first part, the layup challenges. So for the test, I'll be doing the sequence here in lots of repetitions and compare minimum and maximum wingspan so we can really see variations. So it'll be really justified that it really affects it. And in here you can see, yes, your wingspan can reduce your layup challenges. So now you might ask, Chutes, what about smaller gaps? Like, what's the difference if it's just a 1 inch gap? I made some quick calculations, and roughly 1 inch difference on wingspan can give you around 1 percentage point difference in terms of challenge. It is really hard to throw in a, you know, specific number for that, but it'll be more or less 1% per inch. Now for the next one, what about on dunks? First one, I tried to have a look on green window difference, and in here you can see, if we compare minimum and maximum wingspan, it's really hard to see any difference. We are talking about minimum and maximum in here, so if wingspan can really change the green window size physically, then it should be at least noticeable. Now for the next part on dunks, I tried to play around with both minimum and maximum wingspan, and I noticed something. When I was using the short wingspan when I failed to dunk and pull this animation, it always ended up like this. Again, it is always like that. But when I use the longer wingspan, it is always like this, and the shot goes in. So it really raised a flag on me that your wingspan is really changing the dynamics of your dunks. So because of that, I tried to look into it closer. So I tried to compare two exact dunk animations, and you can see here that the longer wingspan dunked the ball first. I tried it a lot of times, and the results are really consistent. So it means the longer your arms are, the faster you can dunk the ball, which means the less chance of being blocked, which means better make percentage. This one here is really good to know. At first, I was thinking that maybe no matter how long your arms are, the dunk speed will be the same, or the whole dunking dynamics will be the same. Like if you have shorter wingspan, the game will adjust everything to make it similar to others. But luckily, that's not the case. The game will favor longer wingspan in terms of dunk success. So now for the summary, yes, wingspan can affect your dunks and layups. It's not too much of an impact though. I mean, this small gap here is for minimum and maximum wingspan already. But it's still good to know, like, you can put that into your consideration at the back of your head when choosing your wingspan. 